We're here at Calvertress Kielda and we're here for the Kielda Quest Corporate Team Challenge. Kielda Quest is the ultimate out of office adventure. We have lots of businesses for 24 hours and they're going to take part in lots of different outdoor activity challenges and they go head to head to win our Kielda Quest trophy. The first activity was to find clues in the dark orienteering aimed to bring the team together for an energizer. The second session was called the Ida Down Challenge, building zip lines out of spaghetti and marshmallow to further teamwork ready for tomorrow's challenges. We're not doing very well. It's good, I think it's rewarding. Everyone's getting, um, getting to know each other a bit better and um, probably bonding a bit as, in, uh, as, uh, as colleagues who don't normally spend time together, so it's, it's good for that. The boat that we built was absolutely shocking. It didn't, didn't work at all. <laughs> I love the outdoors, I love getting out and doing something active, doing something with, with colleagues as well and, and networking with a wider group of companies from the northeast. Well, there's eight different companies here, we, you interact and you, you get to know about different people. We work at the same place but we work all in different departments. It's great for us to get together and get to know each a bit better. We have increased our you know, sense of team, we've all worked together and it's been good fun. It's a bit of a rainy day today, but everyone's in good spirits and uh, don't like heights very much, but uh, that was good fun. It was uh, fairly swift, that swing. Quite a tough challenge, but again, quite exciting. I'm blind. <laughs> One of our number is blindfolded, and uh, you do tend to find yourself leaving that person behind, and that reminds you uh, that you mustn't uh, leave people behind. So. We incorporate disability awareness because it helps to give the participants an understanding of what it might be like to have a disability whilst doing the challenges and it really helps them to understand the ethos of Calvert Trust. Currently trying to build a fire, uh, not so successfully, to boil some water. We've got one guy who's sat in a chair and he has to help us do that as well. We're blindfolded, which is a bit of a hoot. I scored a wee one leg, I scored a one Pass leg. Up your leg. <laughs> I think the whole setup's fantastic to be honest. I mean, the activities are good, the accommodation just is kind of uh, the cherry on top of the cake, really. It's, uh, it's fantastic. We're staying in one of the chalets, so we've got uh, six of us, and there's loads of room, plenty of room, very nice. I was expecting, you know, one star, maybe a bit of camping, but I was actually really, really impressed uh, with what I got. Good food, enjoyed the bar, very nice, very comfortable. This year we've got two teams so it's becoming more popular and we'll be again here next year. I'd, I'd recommend it, yeah. Great, great place, great cause. I think it's a very valuable asset to the region so uh, we're happy to support it. It's something slightly different, you know, a chance to meet with other like-minded organisations. Oh, <laughs> this is the golden boot. Yeah.